All right. According to this, we are live. Okay. Well, that's that's a good start. But I don't know if that's <laughs> true. All right. Hello, hello. Can anyone hear us? Oh, it looks like yeah. on our channel there is an ad. Wow. That's kind of exciting. It is. Oh, my goddamn password. <laughs> Shop hundreds of affordable styles with two-day delivery at iBuyDirect.com. Hold on. Oh. I think I think we're there, Jeff. I think this we is happening. Are. I see us. Uh, RF, hello, and M. Parsons. Okay. Can you see us? I guess that's the question. You could see us? Yes. Anyone? Yeah. I, 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 can I can see you. See us. There seems to be a bit of a delay, though. Yes, I see that delay. But that's okay. We can kind of work around that. For any viewers who are watching now, are you seeing a delay or do Chris and I look like we are talking live? What's up, oh, Trevor? Yeah. Dave's Braves, Tanner, thank you. JL, yes, you have a delay as well. Hmm. Okay. All right, we're trying to enter the new millennium trying is such a key word isn't it all right alan says no delay okay apparently it looks fine to enough people so we're gonna go ahead with it i yeah this is a this is a new thing for us we're gonna be able to show Ooh. some cards as we talk on here or at least that's the plan that is the plan the best laid plans of two men in their 40s yes yes okay. so uh, thanks for bearing with us as we try to enter a, a new paradigm. The stream <laughs> might be delayed from you to us, says Shelly. Okay. Yeah, it's probably a delay somewhere, but... Um, we, we can work around that. Uh, yeah, we, we, we have tried to pick up on some of Scotty B's. The future, yeah, the future is now. Um, but uh, we don't know exactly what we're doing. So we're going to give this a shot. And if it works out, hopefully we can be like this more often. We do use StreamYard for spitball and cards for anybody who watches us along with Scotty B in Filmington and Teapot on spitball and cards, except there we pre-record. We've never done a live with them. So this is just our first experiment. Uh, so thanks everybody for joining us. Please hit that like button. Remember to subscribe, please, as well. And... It was a big day. It's the first Thursday of the month. Chris, you want to remind our viewers yeah. or anybody that's not on Instagram what the first Ooh. Thursday of every month is? Yeah, happy SSP Thursday, uh, everybody. If you are if you are on Instagram and you're following along, you've seen some pretty amazing cards out there. I spent the better part of the last 20 minutes trying to get the photos uh, onto the computer so I could actually share some. And um, as you can imagine, based on the gray hair you're seeing, I failed miserably. But, you know, don't let that... Don't let that affect your opinion of me, which should already be extremely low. Um, we did see some really, really uh, impressive and amazing cards. So just follow that hashtag, SSP Thursday. Um, and you're going to see some stuff that probably you've never seen before, which I certainly I, I got to appreciate today, which was really yeah. fun. Saw a lot of cards I hadn't seen before. Yeah. So yeah. do we want to try uh, talking? Do we want to try showing some first? Yeah, sure. I'm going to pick one right now that I was able to quickly find on eBay. This is this is one of my favorite uh, Raphael Devers cards that was, uh, and it was shared. Um, it was shared today, and uh, this this is the card. So this is uh, Stadium Club. Uh, they call it Red Jersey. It looks like he's uh, standing for the anthem, and he just looks so absurdly young in this. Yeah, um, this card is crazy rare. I, there's less than ten PSA tens. I, I don't think there's a lot. Of totally of to of even like the, the total number of graded um is is very low. This is one of my favorite rookie cards uh for Devers. Like I I just love this card. It's impossible to find it like really clean. If you've opened up a lot of stadium club, you're you're probably used to seeing that. Uh it's just such a really cool picture. And I mean he's gotta be uh, maybe like 19 years old in this picture. If that, yeah. If that, if that um, you get you get Fenway in the background. Just a very, very cool image. Yeah, it was fun to see that pop up on Instagram today. Good fun. Yeah, it's one of those cards that you just, you know, you know it's around, but you don't, you don't see, you don't see it a ton. Yeah. So that one was cool. 
Uh, before you get to the next one, Chris, we got a, a, a prediction in the comments. Oh. Harrison Sale, way too early MVP and Cy Young Award winners. <laughs> uh, yeah, Let, let's go. Let's go. I love it. Yeah, that's uh, they, they've looked pretty good. Devers has also looked good this spring. I feel like uh, he might have a big season incoming. Yeah, he um, he worked on his on his swing. He actually made a change to his batting stance. He kind of, if you look at him, his stance does look a little bit Acuna esque. Um, he dropped his hands a little bit. He used to almost be Craig Council esque, like he was starting way up here, but he's now starting a little bit lower. And he he, he said also he was working his opposite field swing in the winter, and we've already seen him get a ball completely out of Fenway South. So, you know, as always, my expectations go through the roof this time of year. It's very hard to keep – it's hard to keep ourselves in check. It's hard to stay realistic. <laughs> SFO Sox fan says, 40 homers, 65 RBIs, which could very well be his his final stat line with that lineup. Yeah, yeah, 40 homers, 60 RBIs, and what, 50 runs? Yeah. But, um, uh, but someone mentioned the Braves. So this is uh, – another card popped up um, that I shared, and I – Absolutely love this card. This card is very, very special. And coincidentally, a PSA 10 copy has shown up on eBay for bids, which is really, really exciting. So, uh, well, you know, for some people, if you're watching, it's, so I'm going to pull this up so we can take a look. I, I did not look at the pop count, but I think it's like six, maybe seven. So hold on to your butts. Here we go. Look at this absolutely spectacular card. Yeah. That is something special. That, that, I, I don't know why they call it Ultra SP. It's fine. I mean, SS, SP, whatever. Yeah, I'm not sure if, if you can see. It does, like Chris said, it says Ultra SP. It's very, very short printed. Yes. So this was a thing Tops did in 2022. They did five Ultra SPs of Braves players to celebrate the World Series. And if you're like me, you thought this is going to be a really great running thing they do every year. I can't wait to, to see these five cards every year. So, of course, they didn't do it again, which is kind of a bummer because it's a really cool idea. Great idea. Uh, Rob Rob Selly says, I posted that one today. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank, thank you, Rob. Rob S. Yeah, I think that was your account. Yeah. Just, I mean, that's a spectacular card. Great shot. Yes. Um, I'm very curious where this PSA 10 is uh, is going to land. There's a lot of talk about Harris. Uh, Shelly the Turtle picked up another Harris Black this evening. Congratulations. Ooh, nice. Jason Brown just got a Chrome Black Auto of Harris. Sounds like a lot of people are on the, on the Harris train for the spring, at least. He, he has looked really good. He just turned uh, 23 today, which is very young. And he homered again. I think he had his third, uh, third spring training home run. So let's not get too excited, but we could extrapolate that over a full season. And it's an infinite number of home runs. That's right. Infinite. Uh, JG Win, Chris, I'm cooking up some chicken chunks and mac and cheese. Yeah, yes, love Getting it. Ready for it. Um, SSP Joel, wow, you're not kidding. Seeing cards that I've never seen, never seen that Acuna looks amazing. Yeah, today has been the best uh, SSP Thursday. So yes. if you haven't gotten on Instagram, check it out. Chris and I posted, I, I don't know, I posted at least a, two dozen maybe SSPs. Uh, yeah, if you tag us in, we'll just continue to post your. Yeah, your cards on our stories. Right Professor about, said yeah. he was mic'd up today on the broadcast. Yes, he was. Yeah, they had a few technical difficulties, but um, but yeah, he sounds you know he sounds very confident, which which he certainly should. All right, so I, while we're talking, I pulled up another one that came up today. Um, I wish I could remember the accounts that shared that shared these. This oh, this one was a uh, flagship black. Oh, okay. Uh, flagship black shared this one. It's another stadium club, and it's awesome. I know sometimes when you put two players on a card. Some people like it. Some people don't like it. Uh, I really, really like this one. And I like to just think about the combined stats that exist on this baseball card. So it's 2017 Stadium Club. Uh, Albert Pujols' uh, image variation, his SSP. And he shares it with who else but Miguel Cabrera. This was a great card. I loved seeing this one. And especially because they uh, are both nearing the end of their careers if you think about how many career years that they've played, career oh, games yeah. and hits, it's it's pretty it's pretty amazing to see them on the same card. Yeah, I mean, what what, what are we looking at? Uh, 1,200 career home runs right here. That's pretty uh, that's pretty outrageous. Over six thousand hits. Yeah, that's, wow. that's awesome. I love that card. I really wish that's a card. If I could find an oversized one, like a yes. box, 
you know, I would love to get a, uh, find some, um, uh, what do you call it? Like, uh, autos do like a mailing or something and get those two guys to sign that card. 13 home runs, Shelly says. Yeah. And <laughs> SFO stocks fan love the 2017 top stadium club font. Yeah. We were talking about this on spitballing too. the 2017, 2018, 2019 stadium club the, the fonts were really cool. The designs. All right. So Jeff, I'm going to try to just jump to another tab. All right. So everyone bear with me here. This All right, is we're going to try something new, everybody. Yes. This is a really cool shot. Um, really unusual image. You don't, I've never seen an image quite like this. I know there's a similar one at Yankee stadium, but this one's a little bit better. It's his skip Schumacher's best baseball card. Yes. All right. Yes. And one right. of my favorites of the day that we saw little rally squirrel. All right. Hopefully it's coming. There it is. Yeah. It's, it's an action shot of the squirrel, too, which I think adds a little something. He's not just sitting there. Yeah, I wonder how they would describe this. Squirrel running? <laughs> that Schumacher standing? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it, that's just really cool. And we all know exactly what's cool about this is we remember it. We all remember the rally squirrel and the really unlikely uh, 2011 run to the World Series that the Cardinals had. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's really it's cool funny. Part. Tops gets a lot of crap for being an old stodgy company, but they did have some pretty cool ideas over the years. And that yes. that's one of them. I've never had a squirrel card. I I would love to have one. It, amazingly, that card is is not it's it's very affordable. Like I I think the last one I saw on eBay sold for like under twenty bucks. So I might have to get one. If they somehow could have could have wedged uh uh what's like pool holes into the card like into the background <laughs> maybe yeah. Who holds? Uh, I Jorge has an idea called stealing home, squirrel stealing home. That'd be oh, great. I like it, but that seems like a lot of letters, and a PSA does not seem inclined. No, to use a bunch of words. Okay, I was able to find this one. Uh, Mr. Right. Zuckerman just discovered spitball and cards a month ago. Thanks for finding us. Been watch, binge watched every episode, then binge watched all of your guys' stuff. I love your knowledge and passion for baseball cards. Well, I'm sure you're having nightmares seeing mine and Chris's faces in your dreams, but thank you for uh, for watching yeah. all of it. So. Yeah, we appreciate that kind of support, and I wish Jeff and I were both better looking. You know, so. yeah. But yeah, doing yeah. the best we can. Got to go with what you what you're dealt with. The battery says that should be called no jersey, <laughs> squirrel no jersey, <laughs> squirrel no jersey. Yeah, uh, that would be great. All right, so I found I found one more I wanted to share here. This is a a Paul Goldschmidt. Yeah. Uh, SSP that was uh, that was shared today by Homer Dome Cards. Absolutely, uh, give this guy a follow. Um, I have only seen this card one time since I got back. So it's been like six years. I've seen this card one time, and it sold on eBay. Two, I believe, Homer Dome cards. That's the one. So and this is it's the same one. So this is 2016 is a flagship SSP, and it's a really great image. There's a lot of people on this card, a lot of jerseys on this card. But you just never see these. 2016, the SSPs were super s before the sp But we've talked about that before. Yeah, with the Trout and the Machado, the mm -hmm. Mookie from that year. Yeah. Yeah, what this a great really shot. Cool. I don't know exactly what's happening. I'm, maybe this is like some kind of charity event. I don't know. But he's the only player, it looks like, visible. Despite yeah. their new leather jersey. So I don't really know exactly what's happening here. If anyone was a Diamondbacks fan in 2015, please let us know. But this card is great. Yep. And I wonder if any of these fans in the background know they're on a baseball card. Right? Because they're pretty recognizable. So if they, that'd be a very cool card. If you're the kid in the green shirt. Right? You're, yeah, if you're this kid? Yeah. I mean, he looks, I, I don't know. It looks like he ate too many hot dogs. He looks like he's about ready to throw up. Probably. Like, maybe this kid, this girl's not having a great time. I don't know. I mean, this girl's not even paying any attention and that dude in the white hair, but this, this might be the card. Now, now that we're looking at it, this might be the card where you can tell the most, the most people are in focus. Yeah. Usually yeah. when you have a, a big group of people, it's kind of like a blob here. You can, yeah. you can definitely tell who these, these people are if you know them. Right. And Jesus Christ, Paul Goldschmidt's hands are enormous. He's giant. I don't know why, I don't know why my eye is drawn to that, but this little dude has like, Little baby hands in the front. This guy right here compared to Goldschmidt. And he's in the, in the foreground. Anyway. Jorge says maybe it's a military event. Yeah, it could be. I see some people in in uh, with kind of badge. It looks like a fire. Maybe yeah, a maybe fireman's badge on those. Uh, yeah, I could see it being like a, like a fire department or a New York yeah, uh, fire department. department thing. Yeah. Anyway, so 
There are some of our favorites uh, that got shared today. Some stuff you just rarely ever see. Really, cool uh, Chris, here's here's uh, one that might tickle your fancy. Adam says my son's favorite SP is the 2022 Stadium Club Ronald Acuna SP number 108. 2022. I'm not That's sure what a, that is off the top. I think he's he's wearing his white jersey. He's in the outfield with his hand stretched. I think like that was oh. for the World Series celebration. They may have just called his name and he's walking out. That's a cool card. I think there's like three PSA 10s. I mean, those are really hard to find. Wow. Um, yes, Adam, hopefully your your son has that one. That's great. Yeah, if he's got one, if he's got it, that's fantastic because uh, those just don't really pop up anymore. Those um, stadium club cards, like you see them when the set comes out and then you tend to not really see them very much after yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. So if you can find them, snap them up. Star Huddle 77 says PSA would call that the green shirt kid variation. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Most noticeable thing. On I that. mean, they're all standing, so they could easily just call that one standing as well. Yes. And, and not be wrong. Adam says, on a budget and got a uh, PSA 9. Sure. Right. That's great. Yeah, a lot of these cards, SSPs, a lot of them that we saw today. And I, I can't remember somebody in the chat had said earlier, too, that they had a 9. A lot of these, the grades don't matter. They're so rare and fun cards to have. It's even just having it, whether it's slabbed or not. And if it's slabbed, doesn't really matter the, the score. Yeah, the difference we, we know also know the difference between a nine and a ten is so minute in a lot of instances that you really can't even tell on the slab. But yeah, these stadium cards club are is there. tough. Stadium club, as we know, the backs it's it's thin card stock. The yeah. back usually has dark corners. It's almost impossible. Yeah, they always choose dark dark back edges on stadium club. I don't know why, and they're really really hard to keep those true. And even the twenty twenty twos, if you remember, Jeff, the top back edge had like white in the design. Yeah, so you couldn't tell if it's like. Sawed with a chainsaw, or if that's just how it's supposed to look. Yeah. Sweet Swing in 55 says that Freddy SSP getting his ring is great. Forgot who shared it. Oh, no, that was me. <laughs> As a matter of fact, that was actually me. This card is, uh, it makes me feel many things. It's a Some bittersweet good. card for Chris to have. It is. It is. Like I, like I said on, on Instagram, I feel like I made a, like a cursed monkey paw wish. And I'm like, give me tops, please. Give me an SSP of Freeman holding a World Series ring he won with the Braves. And the monkey's paw is like, you got it, but not exactly the way I was hoping for. Still, though, I can see the ring. I can see the smile from the moon. And uh, it's it's a great card. I, I'm very It is happy a great card. Sweet Swingin' has a PSA 10 as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think there's only 10. There's like 10 PSA 10s. The, I, we were, I was talking about Golden Mirrors with some people today and how when 2023 first came out, and, the, you know, stuff gets broken, cases are getting ripped. You saw gold mirrors all the time, the SSPs. Mm -hmm. and everyone's like, oh, the, the print run must be higher than we thought. But now we're a year later, and you very rarely see the 2023 gold mirror SSPs pop up. I think Michael Harris has, like, 75 PSA 10s. That might be the highest number that I'm aware of. Big qualifier right there. But, I mean, Maybe. for Freeman to only have 10 makes me think that – the print run might be lower. I, I think we thought about 150 at the time. It might be lower. I don't know. It might be lower. Yeah. And it just shows how much of the product is open right away so that you see you see a lot right away and then it kind of dries up. And I'll be honest, Jeff, I, I, I don't think it's impossible, but do you think there's a chance that not every player has the same number of cards printed? I mean, oh, they, I, I'm not, it's, I just feel like that's a stark difference. I know Michael Harris is that's his big rookie card, so if you have it, you probably want to grade it. But Freddie Freeman's one of the 10 best players in baseball. It's a pretty iconic image with his World Series ring. I feel like if you had it, you would grade it and then sell it to some idiot like me for an exorbitant price. If you know oh, it, yeah. if, you, yeah. if you realize that it is the SSP, which it's pretty clear. Um, yeah, it's, they're hard to miss that year. Yeah, I don't know. We, we know for a fact that they do it in autograph all yes. the time. Absolutely. Change the numbers of cards of by the player in the set. So uh, it's conspiracy theory. That might be one I could actually uh, buy into a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it unfolds. Yeah, yeah we'll the keep population watching. population of that one over the next year. Uh, Tim, thanks for checking in from rainy Manhattan Beach, California. Yeah, uh, we had a thunderstorm here for the first time in, I don't know, at least a year, maybe? Yeah, it was, it was loud, too. It's been a while. We've got a big thunderstorm here. It was pretty nice. Uh, I missed that kind of weather, so it was it was fun to see that. Yeah, it was actually – it's pretty funny. Uh, well, for first of all, today was the first day. I'm really happy that our dog is older and completely deaf in a long time because she used to really not like thunderstorms. But 
uh, Jeff's in-laws are in town and I saw them like two or three days ago. And I remember saying to them, like, you guys came at just the right time because of Southern California rain. It's done. That Now we're all sunny for the rest of the year. Everything's green and nice. So this one might Anyways. be on me, Jeff. But we'll see. It, it, it's probably going to be out by tomorrow. Um, JG Wynn says, Chris, did you have a chance to try Devil's Run Agave Bourbon yet? I have not. It is written down. I have it written. I did not forget. It's written right here. Oh, on my perfect. shopping list. And as soon as you can see, this is what I got left. Somebody noticed that the bottle was getting low so, early on. I will I will try to get some for next week. Uh, hey, what's up, Thomas? Shelly says maybe there's a different number printed for non-rookies versus rookies, which is definitely believable. Yeah, I mean, that, that would make sense. I mean, it's hard to tell with pop reports because we can't look at like someone posted a Sean Murphy, uh, Braves catcher, his golden mirror. He's getting doused with like Gatorade. We can't really look at his pop report and guess because not many people are going to grade that one. So, I mean, I don't know. We should, I, I should have looked at like pool holes and some other big yes. non-rookie names and we can compare. Well, we'll I'll do some research and we'll, we'll talk about it next week. All right. Yeah. Report, so, report back, report back after that. Um, I also, unrelated to SSPs, I did want to give a quick shout out to short print a day, our friend Jake, who uh, was kind enough to sell me one of what I think is the best look, maybe the best looking Austin Riley card. Uh, in existence, his Stadium Club Chrome at a 2020, his auto. Look at that shine. I mean, this is just, it's not as rookie, but does it matter? Oh, look, home run in the background. Is that a base refractor, Chris? Just a base, yeah, this is just his base auto. Like, uh, yeah, refractor auto. So it's not numbered, but there's not a ton of these. No. Nope. I mean, the white jersey, the obviously the glutes. Yeah. There's just a lot to like here. Great card. You got that from, from Jake. He parted with it, huh? He did. He did. He's got some, I, I think he's, he's got his sight set on, on some bigger cards. And I, you know, anytime I, I can buy something like this, I'm snagging it. I love it. On card, by the way, no, no, no stickers in stadium club Chrome. Best part about it. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, Zuckerman, neither of us are going to be at the national this year. Someday we'd like to make it. Um, the Burbank show is kind of our national. So we're looking forward to the big Burbank show in Anaheim in August this yeah, year we, we call it the west coast national yeah it's, it's yeah i mean someday we'll get out to we'll, we'll get we'll get to the big one but it's just when you factor in like flights and uh, hotels and everything it starts to get you're, we're eating into our baseball card budget just to be there right um jeremy black i hit my first bowman red auto today it was a good day well Ooh. stop the suspense who'd you pull that's that whatever it is that's amazing yeah, hopefully it wasn't a 26-year-old Kansas City Royal um, relief pitcher prospect. Well, like Jeff and I usually usually pull. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, the word of, the word of the day is glute, and Chris said it. So if you are uh, oh, yeah, having right. adult beverage, cheers, cheers to glutes. Always. Not a pitcher. Jeremy Black says it's not a pitcher. Great. That's good. Oh, just don't be uh, uh, Jonah Bride, please. Don't be Jonah Bride. Jonah Bryder, who who did we get? Who's the White Sox catcher who was out of baseball by the time we got him? Oh, your your mean Mercedes. Yes, your mean Mercedes. Had an yeah. amazing April. Retired by June first, June fifth. Yes, when I pull his car. <laughs> All cool. right, our crack research team, led by Shelly the Turtle, has uh, some important information. Found that Goldschmidt image, July seventeenth, twenty fifteen, first responder night against the Giants. Nice. So thank you. First responder night. So yeah, we're in the ballpark. Thank you, Shelly. Yep. I appreciate that. Yes. Great. Uh, Thomas says, not sure if you remember, Chris, but what do you think of my rainbow of JPM was a Texas prospect, now Braves? Um, the pro my only, the only reason I would question the rainbow is like, I don't know where he plays. The Braves outfield is, is locked in for the next five years. I think everyone is signed through there, but I do like him. There was a pretty glowing um, report on that trade on like one of the many, many Braves uh, sites that I sort of troll around. So, I mean, I like it. I mean, Ozuna's gone next year. So he has a window for a bats maybe next year if they don't sign another DH. But power hitting outfielder, I mean, I like it. If Alex Anthopoulos saw something in him, then we should all see something in him. So I, I think your rainbow may have just ticked up 5 or 6%. Right. There you go. Uh, wait a minute. So Jeremy says, Matt Shaw for the Cubs. Professor said my LCS pulled a red Matt Shaw today for the Cubs. Jeremy, are you the professor's LCS, or did two red Matt Shaws get pulled today? I mean, what would the what would the odds be of that? That'd be so. Hey, and Cubs, anybody Cubs is a great great pull, especially with the red. You get a little bit of a color match there. 
Yeah. Um, Mealy Pops took a pick, Jeremy says. Uh, Chris, how are you feeling about Hurston Waldrip? Picked up his first Red Bowman auto last week. Oh, my God. Wow. Congratulations. That's a, a hell of a, a card right there. Yeah. I was looking at, there was a gold on eBay. I want to say for around like 500 bucks. I was actually considering. And I just, it just seemed a little bit insane to be looking at a pitcher at that price, but he looks great. Yeah. I've seen like the split finger that he throws. Um, I mean, I, I've watched video of it. I obviously have not attempted to hit it or see it from the batter's box, but from what I've seen, no one else has really made a legitimate attempt to hit it yet either. So I like him a lot. Um, his name sounds a lot like that rich guy on Gilligan's Island. Maybe I was going to say, it sounds like he should be in back to school with right. Roddy Dangerfield. Oh, yes. Uh, Isaac said, I had a gold PSA 10. Wow. So he's adding adding to the stash. But yeah, I, I, I like him. I mean, it, just like back in the 90s, the Braves, if the, if the Braves drafted a pitcher, there was reason to get excited. Odds are, I hate to say this out loud, but odds are Max Freed is going to leave next year. I hope he doesn't, but odds are he will or he would have signed something already. So there's a long-term rotation spot for him, ready and waiting. Charlie Morton, too, actually. So, I mean, I like him. I think he and Smith Schauber could be a real nice combo. Put him with uh, Spencer Strider for the next five or six years, and I like that trio. So, yeah, congrats, man. That red card is cool. Shoot me a picture of it on uh, Instagram, please. I'd love to see it. Shelly says, as much as I love Waldrop, maybe take a look at Yuri Perez. Yuri Perez, oh. red ink has sold for 250 twice in the last 90 days. Ooh. All right, here's why that's especially cool. Yuri Perez is a, the phenom on the Marlins. 20 um, years old. 20 years old. Now, unfortunately, the Marlins do have a bit of a, a dicey history with their young phenom pitchers, not, not to get too dark. Um, but Yuri Perez is amazing. What we've seen of him is fantastic. He has no Bowman Chrome autos. So his rookie autos are especially good. And I would say that um, the Heritage Red Ink has got to be one of his best. So 100. 250 bucks doesn't sound like an out, outrageous price. No, that seems pretty reasonable. Potential. Now, again, he, he could always wake up tomorrow and his elbow could explode or the, his, you know, his, his shoulder could die. But I, li I like that at 250. I like that price a lot. Still, and at age 20, he's probably got time for two Tommy Johns in there before his. Yeah. And the, yeah, his, his, like his idol, uh, Sandy Alcantara, like is just going through his first Tommy John. I think it's his first. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jeff. I think it's, his I can't first. remember. So uh, basically, uh, Alcantara will be with the team. Is it Alcantara or Alcantara? I've heard it both ways. Alcantara is what I believe it is. Okay. I'll just say Sandy to make it easier. Yeah. Um, he'll be with the team rehabbing and basically mentoring Perez all season. So I, I like I like Perez, and he's in a fantastic ballpark for a pitcher. So, I mean, yeah, 250 bucks for his Heritage Red Ink. I might have to go look for Heritage Red Inks uh, after our show, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh as as we've talked about, Chris and I pretty much avoid pitchers. Although lately we've been we've been uh, dipping our toes into a couple pitchers, not Perez, but um, that's tempting. Yeah. yeah, not Perez. I'm always looking at Spencer Strider cards, and I know Jeff and I picked up some really nice Garrett Cole cards, and we thought we picked up another really nice Garrett Cole card a few days ago, but we finally I see online like uh, Lemley James or Lemmy whatever that that uh, meme account is. It's really funny. Um, we see people all the time dealing with garbage on eBay. You know, buyers not paying or sellers just misplacing cards after auctions go for lower. But we made an offer on a really nice Garrett Cole card, and the guy accepted right away. And I think it's been four days, no shipping, and he just sent Jeff a message today saying they can't find the card. They can't find the card, but if we're interested in another card, they could put our money towards it. Yeah. Uh, no. no, thanks. No, it's going to be a hard pass. And some negative feedback, if possible. I don't even know if you can leave negative feedback anymore, but yeah, it's they they're pretty hard to leave. But I think if he doesn't fulfill the the order, we can. Uh, RF says, "Do you guys target rainbow foils?" Short answer is no. Often the pop on them are a lot lower than the refractor equivalent, as they are harder to grade. Yes. Are we talking? Remember. Jay, just to confirm, we're talking rainbow foils in Stadium Club. That would be if we're talking about that. Then those cards are. I love those cards. I have like. I think I have two, um, but I would love to target them, but you never see them. Uh, yeah, I guess I th I thought he meant top tops flagship rainbow foils. So, oh, is that like the you mean like the complete set parallel? No, that's that's the um, oh the foil board. Yeah, foil okay. board. no, the rainbow wow. foils like like the gold. They're pretty much the same amount print run as the gold. Yeah, but they're just not as sought after usually. Okay, like, so well, got a, you're right. 
Jeff, I totally forgot about those rainbow foils. That's what I thought he was referring to, but I mean, that's that's a probably stadium club rainbow foils are amazing, but they are ghosts. They're very hard to find. Yes. And hold on. I'm going to, I'm really digging this, uh, the screen sharing thing. Yeah. So, find something uh, for us. This uh, just popped up today. Speaking of who we were talking about, I've been waiting to see the first one of these. This is the first one I've seen. So they're numbered out of 10, um, stadium club rainbow foil autos. And this absolutely gorgeous card. I wish I could make it bigger. Story of my life. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Just up today. And look at this thing. It's Incredible. just that is spectacular. The color, it just jumps off the card. The shine on these things. I I, I really, really want this. <laughs> That's a great card. Yeah. This is yeah. so like what what's especially good about the Stadium Club Rainbow Foil autos is they're like the lowest, they're the best autos. Because the chromes are all stickers. Yes. As cool as they sound, they're really not that great. And the rainbow foils are, as you can see, numbered out of 10. The chromes that come in Stadium Club. Correct. Yes. The, the, the chrome inserts. Wow. The edges here actually look pretty good for a chrome card. Not bad. Oh, for a rainbow foil. Um, but yeah. So that the good news is this card is beautiful. It's the first one to surface. The bad news is right over here is that this particular eBay seller, I think might be living in a fantasy world. I, I, I just, I can't see this car being 1200 bucks. If you're I, also I, living in the fantasy world. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I do live in a fantasy world, but I don't think the same one as the seller. Um, so I will be watching this as I'm sure several of our brave fan viewers will be as well. This is, like I said, this is the first one I've seen show up. SFO Sox says, I haven't seen a Veritech auto for 23 Stadium Club. I haven't either. There I, again, I we're either. talking about auto population that's a such an awesome card and the moment we saw that card we thought the auto for that is going to blow the doors off and we have not seen it yeah we looked at um we immediately looked at the checklist and mm -hmm. he's on it but mm -hmm. i haven't seen anything uh sweet swinging looking at cheerio this year in fantasy i think it's a great guy to look at you think he makes the team out of spring i saw somebody responded jg win yeah i mean unless something drastic happens he's definitely going to make the team he, he doesn't look overmatched and they're already paying him. So there's no reason to hold him back for, uh, for money or time of retention of services reasons. So I think he's going right. to make it. Yeah. Plus there's that benefit now, right? Like if they, um, if, if he makes the opening day roster and then finishes top three, I think in rookie of the year, they get another, another draft pick. Some picks. Yeah. And they're clearly, I, I'm sorry to say this, Jeff, they're definitely in a rebuild. For this season, so they got nothing to lose. No, let the young kids play. I agree totally. All right. I also want to. So we were talking about Stadium Club autos. We're waiting to show up. One of the ones I've been waiting to show up uh, did last week and sold. And if you're a fan of Jordan Alvarez, I this is like an absolute must-have card. So this is this is after his home run. Oh, did I share it? Yeah, it's up. okay. This is after his home run uh, off of Robbie Ray. Which is the single, uh, the biggest, what is it, uh, WPA, a win percentage added, win probability added at bat in postseason baseball history. Uh, celebrating the walk-off. You can see the fans going nuts. Cheerleaders going nuts. Cameraman looks like he's really struggling to keep up with them. Uh, Mariners, Mariners players in the background with their you know guts just ripped out of their stomachs. This card is amazing. This, is, this one's numbered out of 25, and it sold for 200 bucks. And I don't know. I don't know if that's a great deal. For like a guy's uh, third year auto, maybe it's too high, maybe it's too low, because I feel like there's image significance with this one. Yes, it think? might be too high given the parameters you just set up, but the fact that the image is so great, if you're a Jordan collector, it's a seminal moment in his and the Astros postseason history. I just, yeah, it's a great card. If I was a Jordan collector, plus I love that the retro 91 yes. stadium club design. Yeah, I mean it's 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 especially cool because of that design. And yeah, I haven't seen like a base auto show up yet. So this is the first Jordan auto I've seen with the with the image. I've seen a couple of the inserts come out. But uh Chris, uh your your business manager entered the chat, uh Mr. Jesse Galviz, and ah. said you should offer them six hundo on that uh on that Braves card. So I guess you have that in your budget. All right. Well, Jesse Galviz, we'll have to discuss what my portfolio looks like. I'm not really sure I've got 600 bucks coming in uh, in the next few days, but we'll see. We'll see. The eBay vault has uh, has been pretty good to us of late, so maybe 
Maybe I'll wake up with some good news in the morning. Yeah. But I, as always, as always, uh, Jesse Galvez, I appreciate your uh, enthusiasm. For spending Thanks. other people's money. Great. Yes, for spending other people's money. I actually sent Jesse Galvez a really cool Yasiel Puig card today. Um, it's his second year, so he has a gold cup, and it's the Atomic Refractor. It's sitting on eBay. Oh, yeah. Bucks. That card's awesome. I know Puig didn't become what a lot of us thought he would become, but that's still a really cool card. Yeah, those those Atomics are great Yeah, from the mid-2010s. And especially now that we know they're not going to make Atomics anymore outside of Sapphire. That's right. Hold a little significance there. Yes. Uh, were there were there some other eBay eBay sales you wanted to mention? Yes. So I have three eBay listings that ended in the last like week or ten days that I thought I would bring up, and I want to know what Jeff thinks, and I want to know what uh, our viewers think in terms of like the prices, the cards themselves, and well, and uh, you know, in general. Okay. All Let's right. So give it. me a second. Let's go. To, let me get the first one up here. Uh, da, 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 I believe it is. Yeah. The baseball market in general seems to be heating up. People riding the hype train for some of the players getting their first home runs, getting their their first big two inning shutout outings out of the way, yep. uh, which is typical of this time of year. So it's you can't really say the the market's back or or the bull run has started. It's just the spring training bump. We'll see what happens. All right, so this is the first one that I wanted to talk about. It is, I believe, Jake mentioned this in the chat earlier. Yeah, yes. break this one down. Yeah, so this is the Juan Soto Heritage Red Ink uh, Rookie Auto. It is, in my humble opinion, and uh, Jeff, you can agree or disagree. I think this is his best rookie auto. Yeah, I agree. We we uh, we broke his autos down a little bit on the latest spitball and cards. If you didn't see our Juan Soto card draft, uh, please check it out. We all had to choose a rookie auto, and this was this would have been my choice for the top one. Also, there were some dynasty fans on spitball, and but I love the red ink. Yes. Uh, I mean, I, I understand Dynasty Love. Those cards do look great. Um, but yeah, he, he doesn't have a lot of on-card autos. It, if It's this one, it's Dynasty, and the Bowman's Best, and then there's some inserts in there. I think Jeff dug up a five-star, if I'm not mistaken, that he's on. Yeah. But so this is this is his best rookie auto. The Red Ink, let's just let's be straightforward about it. The Chromes are stickers, so they, I personally, I don't, I don't even, I'm not even remotely interested. This card is great. You can see it's hand number to 69. So if you're 15, this is right in your wheelhouse. Now, the offer or the offer, I'm sorry, the price on here was 6,500 or best offer. It's a pure gem. Um, like a lot of heritage, you can see like just kind of like hints of white on some of these corners, but damn, this thing looked really clean. So what do we think this card sold for? And well centered for that year we've seen there, a lot yes. that, that aren't centered that well i don't know it's tough because typically when you see when you see a true gem like that you feel like well maybe it can cross over to a psa 10 and that yeah. would put a definite premium on it but like chris just showed you there are some touches on there and it's definitely not going to cross in the in the slab yeah, you got and, it if you, if, yeah you have to crack this one out because a 9.5 on surface there's there might be a little something it's just, yeah. it's really hard to tell. And with those corners, I would not, I would not crack it out. So, oh boy, thinking that it can't cross over, I would say 4,800. Okay. All right. Oh, we got some guesses in the chat. Yeah. Yes. Rob Let me know says what four and a half. Isaac's going with five. JG Wynn says 5,600, which is, oh no, 65. So 5,600. Okay. SFO Soxman says, if you say less than 2K, I'm going to puke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. SFO Soxman, I'd be right there with you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Adam says 3.9K. So uh, our guesses are kind of running running the gamut. Okay. Do you All feel right, like well, somebody got a good deal on it, Chris? I think someone paid what I would say is the appropriate amount, if that makes sense. It's uh, It didn't go cheap, but I think it went for approximately what it should. And someone said the exact uh, number. So I'm going to share the 130 point here. Um, let me see. I'll watch this. See when this flips over. Okay, it's coming. It's, it's coming. There we go. So okay. yeah, this sold for it, exactly five thousand dollars. It's it's off. It was on. Now it's there. It is back. Exactly five k. Yep. So I, right. I would say that's about right. I mean, if, it, if this is his best rookie auto, if you believe it is, then then yeah, 
I mean, it deserves a premium and 5K, it seems like a ton of money. I, I mean, I don't have $5,000 right now to buy this, but if I'm looking for a Soto card and I have five grand to spend, I think this person put their money in a really good spot. Yeah, I was I was thinking about four eight, so I was close. Um, I, I think Wyatt said exactly five. If, if somebody if I, nailed it, uh, yeah, it's it, it's such a great card. Um, I I don't know. It, it's still it's weird to say something that's cost that much might be undervalued, but I don't know. Like you said, it is one of his best cards. He has so few on card autos. I can't yep. fault that guy for purchasing that. No, no, I I. I you could yeah, do a lot like, worse. And what do you think? What would you get? What's the equivalent you would get for a Topps Chrome Auto? That's obviously a sticker. I, I think you probably have to. I, I you'd have to overpay. Like I I don't know. I really don't know. I I don't know what the stickers go for. I'll be honest. I I don't look at them. Yeah. But I'm guessing that's right around the cost of an X Fractor. That would be my guess. That's kind of what I was thinking. And those are out of like 125, I think. And they have beautiful cards, except for the damn sticker. I also wanted to just direct our attention down. Um, ignoring that that Chrome on card like uh, in person auto that someone miraculously was able to get seven hundred and fifty dollars for. Underneath there we have another red ink, mm -hmm. uh, nine point five that sold in December on December thirteenth. Uh, that date means something to someone, and uh, it went for thirty eight hundred bucks. Yeah, well, in, in, uh, Isaac already noticed that in the chat, and so did SFO Sox fan, both saying they would take that, and. Uh... I agree. I, I'm with them. It's probably it was a little lower because December is the floor of the market. So if that came up today, I wonder if that would probably clear four. I'm guessing, but yeah, knowing that that true gem is not going to cross over, I would not mind that at all. Yeah, I mean we don't know a hundred percent. I I I I wouldn't risk it personally, but but so I, I would say that yeah, what we're seeing is from December to now about three months. Juan Soto's cards have ticked up pretty significantly. Well, yeah. I can't I maybe know. yeah well I mean I think somebody people do like to pay for the true gem grades so that's that's getting a premium because it's on there for sure uh we got we had a question if we'd prefer rather have the dynasty out of five or the red ink soto for the same price man I think oh god I would lean at the I would lean I would lean at the red ink I I just don't think that the um the dynasty stuff just hasn't really caught on Agreed. in the mainstream yet. Unfortunately, some of them do look incredible, but. And like we talked about on spitball and, and some of the guys preferred it like teapot liked it. Scotty didn't the dynasty has three different images. So there's, there must be, I know there's three versions up to 10. So there's probably three versions up to five. So it is a little confusing that way because you think, well, I got the five, but then you see another one up to five, and then there's yet another one up to five. I don't know. Still, that's they do look cool though, and some of the patches look great. Patch, yeah, maybe, maybe there if you if you have them in front of you, it would depend on the patch. It would depend on the condition of the red ink. Yeah, I mean, I would, I but all things being equal, I would go with the red ink, and I, I, I mean, I feel like that might upset some people. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. But yeah, as far as Soto goes, if if you if if the if the heritage gets out of control, I would the Bowman best Bowman's best is great mm -hmm. on card, high uh, uh what am I trying to think quality control nice yeah. action shot, not yeah. not too busy like some other Bowman's best years, and it's it's pretty affordable. The last PSA ten I saw went for like seven hundred bucks, so I don't know that that might I don't know as, That's as far a good as option. Soto, uh, uh, Isaac said, would you guys be interested in taking a look at the Dynasty preview for this year? You mean like doing a preview of Dynasty? Because I know it's coming out. Boy, I just don't know anything about that set. Yeah, yeah. All I know is it's usually like six images of each player. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I just it's not a set. I mean, RPAs for whatever reason have not crossed from basketball and football over into baseball. Yeah, the Bowman, the Bowman first is just dominates baseball, much like those do uh, dominate the other sports. Jorge is asking about BCCG, and that is a a grade from Beckett that they used to have. I can't remember what it stands for. Beckett collectors club grading. It was kind of like their lower end tier grading. So chances are, and they, I think they used to have like at least on there. So this is at least a nine or something, some verbiage on there. It's not a great 
slab to have. So I wouldn't buy it based on the grade in, in that slab. No, and I would say also that if you see like a nine, don't get wild fantasies in your head that you're going to crack that out and it's going to cross over to a PSA 10 either. Like I, Jeff and I, when I was first getting in understanding what grading was, I did that with a couple cards. I'm like, oh, well, if it's a nine there, it should easily be a PSA nine. And that is absolutely not true. So be very careful. Yes. Don't Very buy that card thinking you're going to turn it into something else. Buy that card because you like it exactly how it is. Uh, the battery says, finally picked up an Acuna bat down, SGC 9.5 Mint Plus. Great purchase. Beautiful card. It's an iconic yeah. modern-day card for sure. Yeah, and that SGC 9.5 slab, uh, I bet you got a pretty good deal. Okay. Chris can answer this one. What subs do you need from BGS currently to change from a 9.5 gem to a 10 gem? I think you need three tens. Three tens and a 9.5, I think, to get a 10. Oh, I was thinking he meant to, to, to cross over. You're right. Yeah. Yes, you do. That's You need three tens to get a 10. So if you have two tens and two nine fives, it would be a true gem plus plus, that's but right. not a 10. Yeah. And three tens and a nine, that's just, I think that's just a nine five too. I don't think they'll give you the 10. Right. But, well, anyway. Um. Uh, Jorge Pro, uh, Prospector here. Hope you like that Francisco Alvarez SSP pulled it in the same hobby box as the Judge SP, the All-Star Game pick. That is a great box. Man. That is a hell of a box. Um, if you give me one second, I will pull up an image of that. Yeah, pull um, it up. So yeah, Francisco Alvarez just hit an absolute nuke today. So if you're a Mets fan, and I know we have a couple of viewers who are, including a first-timer, um, you know, there is some hope. Yeah, maybe not for this year, but Francisco Alvarez looks like uh, he might be the real deal in terms of hitting. Jorge, it's Corey Seager Stadium Club SP and a BCCG ten. Well, you could buy it for the card, but don't buy it for the the ten slab. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you really like the card, and Rob, they never changed their scale. No, they turned out to call that an April Fool's joke last year, so they never changed the grading scale at all. It was never um, never implemented. They backtracked and all that when they saw the, the the blowback. Yes. All right. So here we go. All right. So I found the uh, the card that Jorge shared today. Um, da, 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 da. Give me a second. So yes, the Topps Chrome still does SSPs, thankfully. So this is the Francisco Alvarez uh, Topps Chrome SSP, and these are like just I don't know one in approximately a million packs. <laughs> Like just, you really never see these. And uh, they, they're in the past, they have been not refractors. They just looked like base cards, but they were refractors uh, in 2023. It's a pretty cool shot. We got, Francisco, shot. Yeah, we got Francisco Alvarez laughing um, based on how he's dressed. I'm assuming it's a, a June evening in Queens. Right. Perfect. Um, but yeah, I mean, this, this dude can hit. Uh, what, what's up, hobby legend Scotty B? Welcome to the chat. We were just talking about spitball and we were talking about Soto. And somebody had mentioned just before in the chat about Soto's appeal. He doesn't think that going to the multiple teams has really hurt his appeal yet, especially since he's in a big market now. But he may change his mind if he go, ends up going to a smaller market team. I just don't know what smaller market team would be able to afford him. So I feel like I feel like he's going to stay with the Yankees. But even if he doesn't, he's going to end up somewhere. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think the Pittsburgh Pirates are coming out of, out of nowhere with a four hundred and fifty million dollar offer in the offseason. I think he is where the only place he would go besides the Yankees is the Mets. Yeah, that's it. Because Steve Cohen will will absolutely see if he doesn't sign before the end of the year. Steve Cohen would love nothing more than to stick it to the Yankees and yep. and and steal Soto away. And I'm sure that's exactly what Scott Boris is whispering into Soto's ear. And that'll be fascinating to watch it play out. But I think he's where he's in the best spot for him. Yeah, especially if he gets off to a big start, I feel like both sides will look to try to get that, get something done there. Yeah, Perk, Billy Butler has not been mentioned once, and uh, now he has. So, yes, now it's uh, now Billy Butler has been mentioned. So uh, we're, Scott, we're, he says he's young enough to stay with the team 15-plus years. Harper's had Philly love. That's the hope for Soto. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know if Soto's body type will last 15 years. He doesn't quite look like the gym fanatic that Harper is. Um Harper has uh, has better glutes, so let me just go ahead and get myself. I was thirsty, so I thought I would mention it. Drink, but he's uh, he's he, his swing his swing is great. He probably could DH for a good half decade at the end of. Oh his uh, yeah, yeah, especially in Yankee Stadium, just cheat, just stay up, there. Try to hook some stuff down the line, and you're you're good to go. Yeah. All right, so should we talk about the next eBay listing? 
Yes. Okay, so yeah. the next one I wanted to bring up is this bad boy, which is a, this is a one of Jeff and my favorite cards of mm. of Shohei Otani. Ooh, I just all right. Speaking on it is not going to share it, so give me a second here. Still learning, still getting used to this. And... Uh, teammate says Harper's due, and they haven't extended him yet. Will be interesting to see if they keep him there. I still mean, got a while yet on that I deal. I think he has eight years left. <laughs> I did think it was. I, I thought it was kind of funny that he would even suggest an extension after you know but anyway so this is Shohei Otani's first excuse me first flagship SSP and tops followed the theme of 2018 SSPs with we got guys on base celebrating or hands up hands up hands on their helmet touching waving yeah. and it's a 10 which is very rare that's a hard card to grade yeah I think there's 11 I want to say there's 11 PSA 10s and let's just say it's a good thing that Jeff and I didn't grade this one because based on that corner right there, this uh, come on, this should not be a ten. That should not be a ten. That's it really disgusting. Should. That's really bad. Like that's this up here on the on the right. There's, there's even no touch on the right, so you get a slight touch and a bigger touch. That yeah. there's no way they should get that a ten. Yeah, no, this top right. I know that corner's dark, and that's usually where the issues are. That yeah. little touch, I can live with that. I mean, that's fine. I don't think that affects the shape of the card, which is important. But this one up here on the left, I mean, come on now, that's bad. That's overgraded for sure. That's frustrating. It's it, you don't like to see that, and it makes you. That's why Jeff and I actually have a nine of this card, and most of the tens we've seen look kind of like this. And I really haven't felt overly inclined. To no, but if if that. I had a strong ten, I would be frustrated seeing cards like that get a ten. Yes. All right. So this yeah. card was listed just like the Soto. This card was listed for sixty four ninety nine or best offer. A best offer was accepted. I think either today or yesterday. So let me hear your guesses. What do you think this guy went for? Um, like I said, it's Pop 11, and this is his true first flagship SSP. He's got two more in update, but this is the first one. So this is like the real one, I think. Jeff, what do you think? Form me a number. Well, I, I, I'm i trying to think of what I would have said before you showed me the close-ups on okay. it because that's tainting what I'm thinking of it. Um. I would guess it still probably went for near five thousand. I'm going to go with forty eight hundred again. Okay, we All got right. a lot of guesses in the chat. Four K, five point two, five and a half from Perk, five point seven, five and a half from Tanner. Rob says, considering it should be a nine, I would hope it sold for three five. Hmm. Same, but it probably wouldn't. We got four thousand and one from M Parsons. All right, five six. Some and of them are the prices right. right. And if you say under two K, I'm going to puke. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I would I would have happily uh, spent the 2K on this one. All right, so here we go. Uh, can you read that out? It's a little small. Yeah, I, I kind of I moved it. Okay, um, so it sold for 5,025 US dollars earlier today. All right, so we had a couple people really close. Real close. Um, the battery bid a dollar, thinking that everybody had overbid, like the Price is Right style. Yep. Uh, yeah, I mean, this one, I don't I, I don't know. I, I love this card. The idea of having a 10 of it is is amazing, but that corner would wreck it for me. I couldn't look at it. Yeah, well, we had, right, because we have a 10 of his lesser, his other beautiful but lesser SSPs. Yes, we have the updates in a 10, and those are, very, and like, they're way more. This is pop 11. Those are each pop, like, 50 or 70. So this one is, like, the truly the rarest one. Yeah, but... It, it would bug me. It would right? really bug me. Yeah, usually I'll say, if it, I don't care. If it's in the slab, it's right. in the slab. But that corner, goddamn, I, I don't know. I don't think I could. I don't and especially it. if it's something on the back or something you can't see in the slab. If it's something you graded yourself and you know it had a, uh, something on the surface, but you can't tell when it's in the slab, fine. But, man, yeah, seeing that, I don't know. I, I do would, love that card though. And I, I so one thing about Otani, I'm I'm just curious of what other people think. Like the rarity of that card, the fact that it's in it's in flagship and it's an SSP of his first one is really important, I, I think. So I like that card above the, the two SSPs from update. Even that green, uh the green kind of greenish looking hitting one with the yeah, great image. Beautiful image, but this one came first. It's one the pop is one seventh. But do we think if you had five thousand bucks to spend on a Shohei Otani card? All right. Thinking about what 
things cost. I mean, ignoring life, let's just say you had five grand someone gave you and told you to spend it on a Shohei Otani. So forget rent and gas and food. Is this the, is this a card you would target? Or would you try to look for like an autograph? Maybe like a base tops chrome auto? I'm trying to think what else would be in this ballpark because all the Bowman chromes will be more. But maybe a base tops chrome auto you could get for 5K. Uh, or stadium club auto you could get for 5K. I don't think he's got autos in Bowman's best, but th- th- those would be the options. This SSP in a 10, maybe a Topps Chrome Auto in a 9, or a Stadium Club Auto, probably raw, would get you right, right around around this price. I don't know. Um, all right. Well, in defense of the card, batteries saying sometimes the scanner exaggerates a touched corner, especially on the top of the card. I've noticed this before with some of my cards. True, photos do. And depending on the light, too. A, yes. shiny, a shiny light will always, yes. you know, but that looks, I mean. Um, I want to know what uh, what could you get for like uh, a black parallel or an indie parallel? Uh, well, we know a PSA 10 black just sold for 8500 bucks on my slab. So you probably have to look for like a nine. I would, I would, take, I would take a nine of one of those over that, that 10. Over that specific 10 or over right. what if it was a nice look? All right, what if it was a clean looking 10 that looks really clean? The clean looking 10. Yeah. Like our nine looks better than that 10. We yes. know it has a flaw. You can't see it in the slab though, but like I would take it over that 10. Agreed. Yep. Um battery says I've actually scanned such cards upside down and the touched corner disappears. That's interesting. Yeah, I I I can see that, but I that's a card and a big card like that you'd like to buy in person. Chris and I have driven many miles to see cards in person and some things look better in person and some things look worse in person. So who knows what that would look like? Why do I feel attacked by that comment, Jeff? I, I, <laughs> I like to think we're still talking about cards. HD. Okay. Uh, right. Zuckerman says, would you rather buy the Topps Chrome Otani Rookie Auto PSA 9 for 5K or the 2020 Stadium Club Chrome Shimmer Auto SGC 10, 10 uh, out of 5 for 5K? The Stadium Club Shimmer, uh, the Stadium Club Chrome Shimmer Auto, the Stadium Club Chrome Shimmer Auto. I would rather buy that than food for a month. I'd rather buy that than gas for my car. Um, I would I would forego uh, non-life-threatening medical procedures to purchase that Stadium Club Chrome card. Man, outside of making sure my dog was fed, I would forego every other bill I have for a month to buy that Stadium Club Chrome Auto. Yeah, if you haven't, uh, <clears throat> if you haven't known, excuse me, Zuckerman, uh, that's a card that that Chris and I really have looked for for a long time, and nearly had one and then didn't. Yeah, that that one was at the Burbank shop, and we we waffled. I mean, it's a lot of money. So we would have to like put it on a credit card. That was our, put on, and then we figure out, well, what, what are we going to sell? We would sell like probably the two update SSPs that we have to cover it. And we debated doing this and debated doing it. And then blammo, someone just snapped it right up. Yeah. And uh, it's on Instagram actually. Uh, it's a, uh, I want to say it's, it's Aloha. I think it's Aloha state cards. Is that okay? I think that's who bought it. So they, it's on their Instagram page. I'm not like outing them or anything. Go take a look at that card. That card is absolutely gorgeous. Great card. Yeah. Uh, Scotty says the Acuna Otani dual tops now auto is listed for 4,800. Is that a graded one, Scotty, or is that raw? That's a great card because I think that's one of the only ones that has both uh, listed as rookies, right? Has the yeah, I think the RC, the RC thing is on there. Yeah, that's a, it's, it's that's cool. I just I don't know because it's I know we've talked about it. It's just because it's tops now. I can't make up my mind about it. It is cool. Anything that those two guys signed, that the parallels of their careers so far, the rookie of the year the same year, unanimous MVPs the same year. You know, I think there's going to be several NLCS clashes in the next five years. Hopefully, um, that's a really cool card. It's probably it's the best tops now card ever. And sure. It's probably got a solid floor, but the ceiling probably isn't that high just because there's not as many people interested in that kind of card. Yeah, there are a lot of people that would just see tops now and scroll. Well, so it might pause what there. you're it yeah. is raw, Scotty says. Chris, you'll appreciate this. The battery says, When I got my first HD television, the first thing I saw was ESPN with Lou Holtz. I wanted to return the TV. Uh, yeah, that's tough. That is uh yeah, that's not right. I mean, they, they need to know, like when they were putting that putting shows like that together, they have got to know. Like or Lou. Marla hooch this guy a little bit. Get him, get him back. Or Lou. I mean, 
Yeah, I mean, then I, I'm not going to sit in my glass house and throw stones at Lou Holtz because you know <laughs> I'll be lucky to look that good when I'm however the hell old he is. Uh, JG Win, if if you've watched the episode that we did where Chris had the whiteboard out and was searching for the best gold to buy. This, this question is right in that wheelhouse. Do you think a 2023 tops Chrome Sapphire of Michael Harris gold out of 50 for $300 is a good price? It sounds like it is right. It sounds like it is, but it, it does. It sounds right off the top of my head. I'm like, Oh man, that sounds great. But if you remember, we have it. It's it's recorded. You can go back and find it. Like I, we put up a whiteboard and wrote down all the sets that have Michael Harris has gold refractors in, and not even counting the inserts of which there are more. We're over we're over like twenty two hundred total gold refractors. So honestly, I don't know. I don't know if that sapphire. I'd so say it's one, of, it's one of the four best. Mm -hmm. It's one of the top two hundred gold refractors for Michael Harris, but I don't know. Because, because, dude, I've been looking at that. I've been looking at that exact card on eBay many, many times, and not pulled the trigger. There's Topps Chrome Golds up there, and I keep looking at it. And I don't pull the trigger. The Logo Fractor Gold is great. All the Bowman Chrome Sapphire Gold Refractors are great. I just, it's just too much. Like, there's just too much of it. So I haven't. I don't know. I just don't. I don't know what to do about 2023 and 2024. Well, we haven't really got into 2024. I don't know what to do about 2023 in terms of rookies. I'd love to get a Michael Harris Bowman Chrome Auto. Um. That was, but the prices are just too high. So the only Michael Harris rookie I've bought so far is the Stadium Club, um, the Stadium Club Auto, which is a great picture. Yes, it's a great picture. It's not, <laughs> it's not the one I showed a few minutes ago. Shelly says buy the black seventy-two instead, which other people have their own issues or concerns with. So yes, the, the heritage, right? Or no, the the, oh, no, sorry, the flagship black. Flagship. Yeah, I mean that is normally a go-to. But the image is terrible. Like, I hate yeah. that image. It's, he's diving. It's horizontal. He didn't catch the ball, which is worth noting. It's just, it's rough. There isn't a lot of black on the card. It's one of the very few um, tops blacks I don't exactly like. Right now, honestly, the rookie card of his that I am most intrigued by is this absolutely stunning um, stadium club image variation. Well, I like that little easel it's set up on there, too. It fits right? perfectly. Yeah, I mean this this card is something. Of all, when we talk about two thousand plus gold refractors, there are not two thousand plus cards with this particular image. Yeah, I mean, sure, it looks like a, a Dave Chappelle character from his sitcom, but it's awesome. This is he. This was the awards banquet, so a little. He's getting his uh, rookie of the year award, and yeah. uh, I don't know who dressed him, but I need to talk to that person because I need a style upgrade, and I want that person to help me. So I really like this card. It's it's a little bit ridiculous, but sometimes I think ridiculous helps. It makes the card stand out. Like if you think about Boba Shett rookies, you're going to think about his uh, his stadium club with the CN Tower behind him. Yeah. And then, the yeah, the stadium club image variation with the hair. Uh, so, yes, we got a couple comments about that. Uh, Sweet Swing and said, picked one of those up the other day. Nice. Oh, uh, Steel Sox fan says Michael Huggy Bear Harris. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet swing, and if you if you paid like two hundred and four dollars, you outbid me at the last second. So I both oh, hate was you. A, uh, I both hate you, but also congratulations because that one looked super clean. Now the edges on it looked really good. Uh, right. He looks like a Willy Wonka character. I, I can see, see that. that. Yeah, uh, yeah. He looks uh, like so maybe maybe the character that would unionize the uh, Oompa Loompas. That's right. It's a little more formal. Mm -hmm. uh, I've not seen one of his Chrome black refractors at all. Would love to own one. Are you talking about the Heritage Chrome, Shelly? Yeah. I think that's, uh, yeah, that's in the chat. Perks said, I'd rather have Heritage Black than Tops Black. Yeah, the Heritage Black. Yeah, that's a cool shot. It's my mom's favorite card of Michael Harris. Um, yes. Talked about that a, a couple months ago. That card definitely caught her eye. I you're, I have also not seen. I have a saved search for one. I haven't seen one pop up on eBay. The only other card that I've seriously considered is the Golden Mirror. Because I, I love the headband he's wearing in the batting cage. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like there's too many cards. There's just too many 2023 cards to really... And somebody was asking us about Corbin Carroll, and he kind of falls into the same boat. He does. Although I do, his Topps Black is better because it's yes. the same image as Topps Chrome. Whereas with Michael Harris, I think whoever works for Topps, whoever decided, they realize that image is not good. Yeah. So they changed it uh, to a nice hitting image um, for Topps Chrome. But... Still, it's a tops black rookie card numbered out of 74. So it's always going to have staying power. It's always going to be in demand. It's always going to make every list of his like top five or 10 rookies. Even Absolutely. if the image was him in the bathtub, it would still be popular. 
<laughs> well, might be more popular. That's a good point. All right. Uh, you have another one more eBay? Yes, I have one more eBay auction. This one ended uh, about nine days ago, I think. Um, right. It's a card I am absolutely in love with, but I did not win it. Full disclosure, I was watching it and I debated bidding on it uh, for a while and didn't. But I would like to know what we all think about the card and the price. Uh, so this is a Freddie Freeman card. It is uh, probably his best or best looking Best looking card by far out of, a lot of maybe, gold. maybe the best looking set of the last like 20 years. So this is Freddie Freeman's top's finest gold refractor numbered out of 50. You can see where the, I, I, I could have made it a game, but you can see what the price ended at. What do we think? It's so hard to tell sweet swing and says it's a steal. It's a great card. One of his best cards. It's just so hard to tell with it raw. Chris and I have seen a lot of, cards from that set in person they're just so shiny the surfaces can be particularly troublesome oh yeah so yes if you just want to have the card great but if you're hoping that it's going to grade well there's always a little skepticism as to why it hasn't been graded yet and it's hard to tell in pictures yeah this was uh so what's kind of interesting this was uh, an auction by this this uh, whatever this is called national product sales was the seller and they have 677,943 is their eBay score. So obviously they do it's a shit ton of, of listings and very little baseball cards. So I think this was given to them by someone and just to auction off. So I, I there's just, I don't know. There were so many questions. I had so many questions about this card. I messaged them and asked, could I see the surface, any issues? And they never responded them three minutes. And then I, I read their product description is like seven paragraphs long. And it literally says, we're not going to respond to any questions about that. And we won't send more pictures. <laughs> and we're not going to send more pictures. Like we do massive amounts of transactions. It's not worth our time. I'm like, okay. But I was still watching it and still consider bidding on it. Um, I think this card is absolutely gorgeous. I, I wouldn't say steel, but I do think that's a great deal as long as the surface isn't super scratched up. This is one of his best. Every time I look at this card, I notice something about it. It's so gold. It's so shiny. And I'm waiting to see this thing pop up on eBay or on, on Instagram. Yeah, it is, to, to see who got it. Yeah, and I want to hear how good it looks. Um, if it's a, someone we know, if it's a friend of ours. I mean, it looks pretty good. It might be slightly off-centered left to right. Slightly, but but somebody mentioned that centering is pretty good. Sweet swing. Yeah. And yeah, centering is a big issue for that set. So this one's not too bad. Just slight left to right. Um, yeah. Well, that's this interesting. I mean, I... They they do they do show the back SFO Sox fan. Um, yeah, I'll get there. There we go. So you can see the back, but yeah, they, they it's it it is hard to spend that much if people won't respond with other pictures or specifics. These obviously aren't baseball card people, so like Chris said, somebody just gave it to them to auction. So you wonder if there's a big issue that's hidden. I don't know. That's just a little too much for me to spend on a raw card, but you could take the chance and. Could yeah, I mean, oh, you can see just the the hint of the shine that this card that this card offers. But yeah, I mean, you're right. It could be someone who knows their card is damaged and they just don't want to deal with it, so they gave it to this massive like liquidation company to get rid of for them. Or it could be someone who has no idea what they have. Right, and they don't they don't pop up a lot. So if you want one, if you're a big Freddy fan and you want one for your collection, there's a great time. Yeah, and this is legitimately, I would say, one of his absolute best rookie cards. Like it's just it's this thing is stunning. Isaac did notice it says card is in great condition from pack to sleeve, which was funny that we noticed that. <laughs> so they, they got that somewhere. I don't know if they cut and pasted from a different site. Um, yeah, but if you if you pull up that that sellers like uh, other other auctions, there's not a lot of baseball cards. I want to say it was like auto parts or something like it was a weird, you know, they just selling everything. It seemed like a on eBay, yeah. I wanted to get to two comments, Chris. Uh, first, yeah. Isaac said, I bought an acetate Corbin for $400 on release just for it not to pass eBay authentic authentication for a small scratch. So, oh my God. So you didn't we, get it. That's. We've heard, we've heard of both ways. We've heard of yeah. big condition issues getting through and then people unable to return because it passed authentic authentication. Yep. Um, so that kind of, this one goes the other way saying that you would have gladly taken it even with the small scratch, but still didn't get it. 
Yeah, I mean, that's kind of fr- – I mean, I guess – I don't know. I mean, I, I guess, you know, I kind of appreciate eBay helping, you know? Yeah, you just wonder because there's it's supposed to be authentication services, and that's – more of a condition issue they were supposed to make sure the card is what was listed on the right sale and make sure it's it's a real card i don't know it's tough it, especially it's since it's not something you can decide to get you can't you can't bypass that you can't say i'll i'll take my chances and bypass that yeah i wish yeah i mean in a clear like you know we know and i'm sure was it is it jorge that said that uh isaac isaac and i I'm, isaac knows um clears are very rarely going to be in perfect condition like right. this, you're going to get scratches on there yeah. if it's only a little scratch that's pretty amazing yeah yeah we just you you're almost you're happy to deal with that and that's it's what isaac more... said i didn't care about the scratch because most of the estates have them yeah, yeah it's numbered out of 10 so i mean you're just thrilled to own that card man exactly that's... um the other thing i wanted to uh, oh shelly said one more comment on the harris flagship image if you Please. go look at cunha's flagship it's an image of his flying out so not uh not a home yeah. run or something so that is true that was yes Someone not, recently, not yeah i did not know that until recently I, I i it never really like occurred to me to kind of look at it to think about it but yeah his that um what am i trying to say yeah his so it's like bat up yeah he, he, he's right. not getting a hit which is kind of funny because i think most people myself and myself included you know, assumed for sure. Yeah. That's the base hit. And it's not. Um, all right. Well, Jorge, Jorge says, I had a card once not passed because it had a mean crease on it and the seller was arguing with me and I said I never even saw the card. It was eBay. Yeah, that's interesting. So they're yelling at you about, yeah. I don't know. You wonder how long it's going to last. And I know they've talked about it being a free service, but eventually or temporarily yeah. a free service. So eventually they're going to charge for it. Are they going to charge the buyer or the seller? Can you opt out? I don't know what's going to happen with that. I don't know. I, I Like I said, I like the idea of it. I like the idea that it's good. It's because that we have seen there's a lot of eBay listings that are fake. There is actually. Um, hold on. There, there's a Freddie Freeman eBay listing. Give me one second. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There is a Freddie Freeman 2011 that same finest set. There's an auto up for up for uh, up for sale. That is very clearly like a fraudulent eh, excuse me a fraudulent listing. And I, I wonder like what would happen if you if someone actually bought it. Give me a second. Yeah, a lot of those fraudulent listings they just end up not ever sending it to the authenticator it's like they're taking a little loan out for from you for as long as it takes so you can yeah which is which they used to be able to do but what's really cool now is ebay won't send your funds you know until uh about until the the card until it goes through authentication right yeah all right so here we go i'm gonna pull up this funny frame this is kind of stuff that if you're interested if you're looking at cards on ebay and you are just be aware that there are people out there doing uh, shady stuff like this particular seller. And I don't know if Scott's still with us, but he and I have talked about this card a couple of times. So this is Freddie Freeman's 2011 finest, his gold auto. Inexplicably numbered to 75. Let's not get into that. Every single top, top scroll gold is numbered to 50 except this one. Anyway, so let's take a look. The first, This is the first photo, and the card very clearly is in a PSA slab. You can see the plastic around it. Right, and I also want you to look at the F. Um, the first F and just right. notice the way it looks. Okay. All right. Second image, the card's in a one touch. So already we're, we're concerned. Was it broken out of the slab? What's the deal? Like in between photos. All right. And then the third, the third pick we have a, uh, out of the one touch, but we can very clearly see that signature is not the same. F is completely different. The F yeah. is completely different. So I don't know what this card is. So just be very wary um, if uh, if you're looking for a nice Freddie Freeman rookie auto. Uh, this it's it's listed for fourteen hundred bucks. Please do not buy this card. No. I don't know what you're going to get, but you're not going to get the card in this first picture. So I don't know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, that's frustrating. Yeah, it's uh, that's yeah. I, I don't know. You think something like that? If there would just be wandering eBay can afford to pay a couple of card experts to wander and weed out these. Yeah. Somebody was on there a long time. Free time. Yeah. 
Can we do, do we, I know it's we've hour and 15 minutes, Jeff. Can we do one more real quick? Yeah, let's do one more. Okay. Uh, while you're looking it up, I just wanted to, 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 oh, for Pete's sake, said I recently won an, a red 85 refractor Pete Alonzo on eBay for 261 and it was sent straight to me without going through authentication. We've had that happen as well with just random cards that should be over the limit that do get sent right through. So I don't know. Yeah, conversely, I just bought a, um, I bought a card on eBay for like $165 and it's going to authentication. It is? Yeah. I'm not really sure what's up with that. Yeah, that's the asking. Unusual. Like it was like listed at a price or best offer, and we agreed on that price. Maybe because the offer price was higher. I don't know. All right, that's here we go. Very strange. Last eBay listing I want to talk about. Um, this was up for bids. It ended. I want to say three days ago, possibly two days ago. So this is Shohei Otani's Stadium Club image variation uh, rookie card. Right. In a PSA ten, a top twenty, I believe. Um, really cool image. You know. No borders, just Shohei about to throw a pitch at probably 98 miles an hour on an elbow that is an inch away from exploding, and it probably blew up like a week after this photo was taken. So this is one of his his rarest image variations. The only one rarer is the uh, hand on helmet we just looked at. So I'm a big Stadium Club fan, as is Jeff. We love this card. We've actually we've had a couple of these in uh, in our lives. But so what do we think this one just ended at? Up for bids. I, you and get no hints whatsoever. It did go really high during hey, the boom. Yeah. Shelly says $800. Wow. I hope it's not that low. Shelly, you'd be lucky to get a PSA 9 for 800 bucks. Um, I'll say 2100 Okay. All right. I'm curious. I'll give everyone else, any, anyone who's still here, I'm curious what the other uh, guesses are. All right. Doug's throwing out 1200 Okay. Um, while people are guessing, what was the peak that it got to, Chris? I know it got to like, I want to say I think, four. No, I, I don't think. I think the highest I we ever saw. I don't think it ever broke three. I think I think it was around like twenty five. Was about the highest. No, rate. it got higher than that. Well, you should, I don't have card ladder. I love to look it up. I don't have card ladder or market All movers. Right. We should well, get market movers at least to support. We'll have to people. find it. Um, because I feel like it went higher because then, well, the pop was about half. It got lower and I didn't sell and then finally sold. Ooh. All right. Okay. We got some guesses. Uh, 800, 1200, 2800, 1800, 1375, 2400, and 2200. Cardboard showcase. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Um, uh, 2901. Yeah. Uh, which card do you want to look at? I can check card ladder. Isaac, uh, please check out this, this Otani yeah. Stadium Club and see what the all time high was on it, please. Yeah, please. That's the pitching variation. All right, so here we go. In well, for 1600, me, 1600, 2700. All right, so a couple guesses were pretty spot on. One guy missed it real, real close. Yep, Mike. Mike was right on the border. I almost said 2200, went with 21. Uh, but yeah, Mike, wel welcome to the show. You, uh, you'd be the winner right there. 30 I also, bucks wait, full, full, full disclosure, Mike, did you buy this card? I know you've been You're out right. on the shopping spree. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That would be that would be that would be really funny. This card is um, really great. I know some people don't like horizontal cards, but goddamn, this thing fits. They use the framing. I I love this card. Angels is really clear. His numbers right there. A little crotch focus, but whatever. I think this card's great. It, it is it is a great card, and I I'm glad that it's holding its value. I know the pop's been increasing. Isaac says twenty three hundred was the peak. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. I didn't think it ever broke three. It is at the end of the day. It's rare, it's beautiful, it's really hard to gem, but it's still, it's it's Stadium Club, and I will always keep it, I think, you know, at a certain level. But this card's awesome. One thing I actually really like about it is there's no other player. You can't see anything but him. Yeah, it's just like, him. Yeah, there's no first baseman's foot. You know, there's nothing else. It's just Shohei Otani. This card's awesome. I'm a, I'm a big fan of it. Mike says, I already have one in a PSA 10. Ah, so 2,300 was the peak in April of 2023. Didn't it go higher before that? I would think it would have gone higher after that. Like you would think if one of these sold in like July, you know, the F 2023, this thing would have gone through the roof. But that's why I think this is, this is right around, you know, max value, but you just don't see these in a PSA 10. There's no. a couple sitting on eBay at crazy, you know, with really high prices um, looking for offers, but this one was, was up there for bids. Like I have at it scenario and, yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a gorgeous card. It's kind of a sneaky, sneaky rare Shohei Otani card. 
Yeah. So the, congratulations to whoever bought it. Mike, congrats on having a PSA 10. I'm sure that looks really nice next to your black. <laughs> right. Um, yes. Uh, well, is there anything else you wanted to get to? I know we're going a little long. Someone got a pretty good deal on SGC 9.5 at 620, I'd say. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, if that doesn't cross over, even if it's a PSA 9. PSA 9. Oh. Great deal. Yeah, because yeah, there's, we don't know what the print runs are, but 100 at max. At the absolute max, I would say. And his autos were redemption. So, I mean, no more of those are coming out of the woodwork. I think Acuna was a redemption too, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And I can't imagine a ton of people are ripping 2018 Stadium Club these days. Yeah, I think. So what's out there is out there. What's out there is out there. And I think the Otani market does seem to be ticking up, as we've seen. He got on base like 11 straight times in spring training. It looked like he was playing. I mean, he's such a gigantic person. He's such a huge... Everything about him is big, and he just almost seems like he's a man playing like Adam Sandler and Billy Madison playing dodgeball against little kids. Like you've said many times, it'll be interesting to see what he can do only focusing on baseball, not having to pitch every sixth yeah. day, only only focus on hitting the baseball. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm really, really looking forward. That's, that's the wrong way to say it. I'm curious. I, I would like to – how do I say this? I'm waiting for, like, the introduction of his wife. Like, has anyone that famous ever been able to keep, like, a marriage, a relationship, a secret as effectively as Shohei Otani just did? It's amazing. You mean, like, the kid in school who had the girlfriend in Canada? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, I assume she's real. (laughs) She's a normal woman, M. Parsons says. Yeah, she's just a normal, just a normal woman. I mean, yeah, M. Parsons, by the way, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, M. Parsons is in quite a few Shohei Otani fan groups on Reddit. And I think that the wailing of, of women in those groups was audible for miles. Well, that's it. That's it. Yeah, he's he's off the market. Yeah. Shelly yeah. says you can get an 18 Stadium Club hobby box for 400 to 600 on eBay. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of money. Considering I mean, the, the odds of pulling any of those good cards. Yeah. I mean, damn, there's some really great rookie SSPs. Like Acuna is really short printed. Devers has the one we showed earlier. Otani is really short printed. But I mean, like, God, your odds. I mean, at 500 bucks, you could almost buy that Otani raw. Right. And I just do that. Yes. That just seems like, yeah. All right. Uh, Doug wants to know who Taylor Swift's dating, if it's anybody we know. Is she? We don't know personally. Um, But that's true. uh, uh, yeah, she, her, her relationship isn't quite a secret. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us. We appreciate you bearing with us as we tr- travel these new technological means. <laughs> I'm really excited about this, though. I love the fact every week we'll pull up like three to five eBay auctions we thought were really interesting. And we'll yeah. talk about them. And I want to hear what you guys think about them. Because we're getting into the, this is like, this is big time baseball buying and selling time right now. It is a lot of hype. We'll have to we'll have to talk some fantasy maybe next week because we're getting close to the fantasy baseball season. That's right. As yeah, well, definitely. and uh, there's there's a lot of drafts to be had. Yeah, um, Jeff, Jeff and I we have keepers due on Monday. Yes, so we got to get some keepers. Maybe next next week we can ask ask for some advice. Uh, thank you, Shelly the Turtle and M Parsons for being here and helping to moderate. I'm. Uh, Really happy with the chat this week. It seems to be uh, much easier to control this way. Uh, Mm -hmm. So thanks, everybody, for joining us. Chris has got to get some chicken chunks. Oh, it's chicken chunk time, baby. I've got to go get the kids to bed. But please remember to like and subscribe and comment down below when uh, when this uh, video goes live about anything you'd like for us to talk about and have prepared for next week. Follow us on Instagram, and we will see you next week. Bye, Chris.